Okay, Rick, uh, you're go to open the thermal hatch cover and egress the airlock. Okay, so, so the uh, thermal cover is already open, and I'm on my way out. And here we have an external view of the station. You can see uh, Rick Mastracchio in the suit with the red stripes there, leaving the Quest airlock. The suit's on battery power. The EVA officially starting at 8.56 a.m. Central Time. Ground IV Jeremy Hansen from the Canadian Space Agency taking over uh, communication between Mission Control and the two spacewalking astronauts. Mastracchio and Swanson now heading outside and will quickly translate over uh, to their work site uh, on the S0 truss to begin their work of replacing this uh, failed MDM unit. Thanks, I appreciate that. No problem. They just completed a quick check, making sure all of their safety tethers are in place. Uh, before heading out uh, to the outer portion of the space station. You can see uh, the airlock's thermal cover. Uh, it's the large white flap there uh, already removed. Steve, your safety tether is closed and locked. Black on black, your reel is unlocked. Looks like a good place, thanks. So while Swanson gets ready to stow that bag, Mastracchio continuing to uh, inspect the MDM for any potential damage. On to both your WVS cameras. Here are the view from another angle that's NASA astronaut Steve Swanson, EV2, uh, is working to uh, break out a couple of the tools, among them the scoop. Uh, uh, the, these astronauts use for uh, driving all the bolts uh, for different station systems. Pay for check, all nominal. Okay, good words, Rick. And when convenient for you, we'd like you to read the MDM label number down to us. Okay, is that the number right on the front? It says MDM16 Echo 0102, or do you want the label on the top? No, that's the right one, Rick. Yeah, part yeah. Numbers and stuff. That is the failed MDM. Okay. okay, we copy that, Rick. We had the other end of that ret now going back to handrail 3446, which is just uh, aft of the MDM on the starboard side. I'll just keep it on me, Houston. Okay, we're happy with that. Copy. So for sure, have this other one off. Okay, we got a good view of it in your WVS checking. Okay, Swanee, we're go for as requested. Okay. So the two spacewalking astronauts moving right along through their timeline. Rick Mastracchio already driving the two secondary bolts uh, on the failed MDM, uh, following which he'll release the center jacking bolt. It's uh, about 14 turns at this time. I think the bolt popped out a little while ago, but it's just not much, not much play on the bolt when I push it in, you know? So I just wasn't 100% sure it was out. You see it in my WVS? We do. We have a good view. And we're happy with that config, Rick. Happy, no problem. The main bolt on the new MDM already driven, the first secondary bolt on the way in. Don't forget to look down, Steve. Oh, good boy. Four turns, zero torque. Five, six turns, zero torque. Starting to pick up some torque, and we got a torque green light on the torque. 6.61 turns. Torque was two decimal three actual. Okay. 6.61 turns, 2.3 torque. We're happy with that. We're ready to reset to Bravo 1 clockwise 2 to do the same thing on the other secondary bolt. Okay, Rick, obviously you're into site cleanup. Swanee, when able, over to the SPDA doors. And uh, when you're clear of the MDM, Rick, we're going to give them a go to power it up and give it a test. Okay, let me just uh, get clear for Swanee. Yeah, I'm just going to swing up. How's that? Back in the go for my, my, my safety tether is going over yours, is what you know. No problem. And I'm clear. Okay. 
Steve Swanson translating over to those SPDA doors, where he's going to do a quick lanyard cut task. Okay, Houston, I am, I don't know what you mean by clear of the MDM. I'm not touching it, so uh, I'll just move over outboard a little bit and get a, get a little more space between us. Copy that, Rick. I'm going to pick up my adjustable, Jeremy. Okay, copy. You're picking up your adjustable. Strachio just completed the installation of the new MDM, driving all the bolts uh, without any issues, so getting it installed guys, quickly you, and cleanly. Uh, you can tackle cleanup. We'll also be looking for some closeout photos and a bit of a pre uh, or post-install inspection at your convenience.